More than 100 people, many of them cross trainers, put on their workout gear yesterday and pushed themselves to the limit. And as I found out, it wasn't just your everyday workout. Under the heat of the Florida sun, these men and women put their bodies to the test. It's called For Heroes, For Heroes, with workouts named after those who have served our country and wound up paying the ultimate sacrifice. It was uh, it's emotional. And it's been six years. Scott Bill is the reason they're here. His son, Chief Petty Officer Brian Bill, a member of SEAL Team 6, served his country for more than a decade. Then, just weeks before 9-11, he was killed in Afghanistan. It was the largest single-day loss of life in special ops history. You know, I was on my knees praying to God that my son let him live, and I'll take my life right now. But apparently, God had other plans, and not long after, Scott established a foundation in his son's name. Keep the memory of him and his teammates and all the SEALs that have fallen. For Trisha Will of Horsepower Athletics, this is not just a competition. It's bringing the community together for a good cause. When she thinks about Scott and how his son sacrificed his life, Sadness and gratefulness because freedom isn't free and so we're here because of his sacrifices and many other sacrifices. So just who are all these people? Well, they may not be professional athletes. They may not have served in the military, but one thing is for sure, they're here to honor those who have served our country. Events like this are kind of where the rubber meets the road in terms of community. And for Tampa native Benjamin Bunn, a Green Beret who served in the Army for 15 years. It's an excellent way to honor him. It's kind of our way of like raising our hands and saying like, hey, we, we remember you and we appreciate what you've done. They're out there giving everything you can and we're trying to coach him. Come on, one more for the team, one more for Brian, one more for another Navy SEAL. What a day out there. Now everyone there paid to take part in the event. The money raised goes to retreats in Tampa for vets with conditions like PTSD. And to learn more about the foundation, we put a link up on our website, WFLA.com.